What's going on you guys? Keep you on the camera here and you know I just got done watching dad's video where he was talking about some of the sadder Christmas memories that we had. I guess I wasn't a part of this one. I I think I'm I don't know I think I may mom may have been pregnant with me. I think she probably gave birth to me in June. And it made me think about some of the other Christmases that weren't so great. But I'm not going to be complaining. I'm not complaining that we had bad Christmases. So it was many years ago. We lived in this trailer. It's a trailer that actually burned down. Uh, we lost one of our houses to a fire when I was a child. It was around Easter. It was at that house. It was actually before we lost it. A couple months before we lost the house. And mom and dad, they didn't have any money. I think later on in life, dad told me he had like 50 bucks. And Christmas was coming. The only reason we had a tree is because our grandmother, you know, she was going to throw out her old one. She gave it to us. So we had a tree. And as kids not having anything, we didn't realize. I remember as it was getting closer to Christmas, Dad was doing a lot of work. <laughs> not trying to get emotional. Not trying to make this into a sad vlog. Uh, I just remember dad was doing a lot of work to uh, make sure Christmas happened for us. You know, he was fixing cars and installing air conditioning units and picking up trash and everything he could because he wanted us to have Christmas. And I remember, you know, when bills were due and he only had 50 to 100 bucks left over for Christmas, which isn't a lot when you got four kids. And it's... I guess we didn't mind, you know. I remember the day Dad went and got the presents. He went to uh, Big Lots. And I remember we were sitting in the living room looking out the windows as Mom and Dad were unloading the Christmas bags. You know, there were these big bright orange bags and we knew they were filled with toys and to us, you know, great stuff. You know, you only had so much. Dad's talked about this story before on a video. Uh, you can see that video below. We were sitting in the living room, we were, we're on our, you know, we're leaning against the couch looking out the window and dad's unloading presents and he's happy that he was able to get us something and Christmas morning comes and, you know, we got a, you know, we got a couple of these dollar toys, I got, you know, one of those dollar robots and, you know, I remember in our stockings, there was nutty, you know, we had nutty bars and a penny <laughs> and... We were never sad about it because we didn't ever really have anything, you know. We fought. Dad was angry a lot, but it's what we had, and we had each other. And we don't all we don't have each other anymore, you know. I don't have a relationship with my brother. I don't have a relationship with one of my sisters. All I re I don't have a relationship with mom anymore, you know for reasons that I'm not going to go into on video. It's personal, it's private. You know, all I really have left is dad and my sister Kimberly. And it just makes me sad to, when you when you see so many people complaining, well, you know, you see people on Facebook on Christmas, oh, I didn't get this. Oh, I didn't get the car that I wanted. Oh my God, all oh, shitty Christmas. You ain't had shitty Christmases. And there's people who've had shitty Christmases than me. You know, we had some bad Christmases, and there's some people who've had nothing. That's why we're so big on Toys for Tots, because those companies, man, they saved our lives growing up. They they really provided for us for Christmas and Thanksgivings, and, you know. I think people should show more appreciation for the things that they get, because we didn't have anything, and we were fucking happy. Because, you know, we might not have had much, but the stuff we did have, we really fucking loved. So I guess the point of the vlog, and I took off my hat, uh, I guess the point of the vlog is to just say, you know, appreciate the things you got, appreciate your family while you have them, and don't complain so much, because life's pretty good, for the most part. For a lot of people, it's really good. And I just wanted to thank Bella, Bella, I wanted to thank you for scooting your butt all on the grass while I was doing this vlog. How you feeling? 
We're just scooting your butt for you. You got worms. We gotta take you back to the vet. We're just scooting your butt in the grass. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. Come here. Oh, I poked her in the eye. Well, I'm gonna deal with Bella. Uh, I poked her in the eye on accident. I'm so sorry, Bella. Let's go get your treats. Mwah! So that's it. Like, subscribe, favorite. Didn't mean to get a little emotional for you. Uh, just the way I get when I talk about the past. Maybe it's nostalgia. Bella, you want to end it?